Peter will be needs prayers. As tribunal judges plan to betray him is posed ahead of final judgment day. Hello, people. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, this country is so compromised, even from the judiciary to the legislator and even to the executive. You know, I wonder how a country is actually operating in such uh, manner. You know, a lot of people are expecting that the judges at the uh, petition election tribunal will actually behave this particular way. But, you know, they, they, they act as if they are, they, are, they are in support of the rascality that is happening within this particular country. You know, I will tell you what happened in court uh, yesterday and I know how the judges of the uh, uh, petition election, election tribunal was actually exposed. And you know how they reacted to a, a, a content in court that was committed by... Uh, 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 by the INEC uh, body and all that. You know, yesterday, after the cross-examination of uh, the witnesses in the uh, court, you know, P2B was present there yesterday and his uh, team of lawyers and all that, you know, after the cross-examination of the uh, Amazon uh, witness that, put, that, that P2B actually brought for, 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 for questioning and uh, another uh, reasoning, you know, the, this particular witness, uh, being a female cloud engineer, actually disproved the, the, the claim of INEC that there were glitches on the uh, uh, presidential election day, and that was why they couldn't transmit the uh, election result, the, the presidential election res results. You know, you know, this particular witness, you know, disproved it and, you know, gave her facts and reasons and reports why uh, there were no gl glitches on that particular day of the uh, presidential election uh, 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 day and all that you know but that is not the case you know after the cross examination of these particular witnesses dr Olivia Uzuku, you know who is the lead counsel of Peter Peace team you know called uh, the attention of the courts to what INEC was doing because the court gave a judgment before this case started that INEC as a matter of fact will give Labour Party and other parties both PDP and the APM and other parties or, or any required document that the party seeks from them, you know, even if it means for them paying any amount of money, that Labour Party should cooperate and pay the money. But INEC must be mandated to actually, you know, uh, give each of the party any document they require. And Dr. Lee who just called the attention of the court, now look at what is happening. That virtually most of the uh, documents they are requesting from INEC, that INEC has not yet given them any of those uh, uh, documents. And we all know that this case is time bound. There is a time uh, uh, that is stipulated for this case to last. And they are running behind time and behind schedule, you know. And INEC representatives were there. They've subpoenaed the INEC chairman to come and appear before the court and other things. But INEC has not yet complied to this. And this was an agreement they made before this uh, uh, pre-tribunal uh, hearing started that they must, as a matter of fact, that INEC, as a matter of fact, must comply and, and provide every document needed because they have they claim that Volatinibu won the presidential election simply meaning that they have all the evidence and the documents that they used to proclaim or to uh, declare Tinibu the winner. Now it is not difficult for them to actually you know give these particular documents to the uh, uh, corresponding or respective parties that are actually looking for the documents to prove their case. If INEC has nothing to hide, if INEC has nothing in their cupboard, so why are they so scared of submitting those documents? Why are they scared of releasing some of the documents that the Labour Party is actually demanding for them? Dr. Olivi Uzu, who is the, the lead counsel of P2B, stated that on several occasions that they subpoenaed INEC to submit these uh, 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 documents and all that. The counsel to INEC, who represented uh, Mahmoud Yakubu, that was present in the court yesterday, told the court that what uh, Labour Party was that the document that Labour Party was requesting is not available and cannot be given to them. You could imagine. Meanwhile, this was the same set of results that this same INEC used to declare Tenibu the winner of this particular uh, presidential election. You know, so Dr. Levy, you know, uh, you know, spoke to the judges. Look at what is happening. The INEC is refusing the subpoena and everything. I know uh, Dr. Levy Zuku expected the court, that's the judges, to actually, uh, you know, uh, reprimand INEC and equally uh, caution INEC to do the needful. But it was shocking the, 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 the response we got from. Uh, the, the 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 judges of the uh, petition election tribunal who, which was uh, who is led by uh, this particular man known as justice uh, samani you know they asked the labor party asked your lordship INEC has defied this court's subpoenas that is the subpoenas to provide a document now this justice samani replied so what do you want me to do Meanwhile, it was the same uh, 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 judge or judges at, the, at, this at, the, at this election tribunal that said that every party, that INEC must, as a matter of fact, produce all the documents required for uh, any party that's, that have actually subpoenaed and maybe applied to get those documents and followed all the due process to get those documents. 
Now, this same judge is saying that, uh, what do, do you want me to do? What does uh, 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 Dr. Lee Buzu, who, who is the Labour Party's uh, lead counsel, uh, uh, legal uh, lawyer, you know, asking him what does he want him to do? Meanwhile, the same court gave order to INEC to always provide uh, documents and all that. And instead of the court to, you know, uh, bring up that particular clause and agreement that was signed before this hearing that INEC must provide this uh, uh, any document that is being requested or required by any of the parties. This particular man, being Justice Samani, had the F-130 to tell, uh, uh, to reply to Labour Party's lead counsel that what does the uh, 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 Dr. Lee Vizuku want them to do? Meaning they are complacent. Despite that, they were the ones that gave the order to INEC for INEC to provide those documents. Till date, INEC has not given any of those documents. And these cases are time-bound. These cases are time bound, and the Labour Party needs this particular evidence, at least to back up their proof and evidence. But Samani has refused to do anything, even as the justice, as the main judge of that particular uh, tribunal. You could imagine how they are actually trying to cooperate or collaborate with INEC, you know, to ensure that INEC doesn't provide those documents. Because if they were really, really independent, if they, if they were really, really serious, they could have, you know, punished INEC for not actually submitting or providing the, the required uh, documents that was needed for the petition and uh, for the uh, case and all that but they are being complacent but they should know one thing that that labor party and p2b's legal team does not necessarily though they need it but it does their winning and their victory at this tribunal does not really depend on those uh, materials they have other uh, aspects or areas of strength that they will use to defeat uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 apc and uh, the inex team and all that but it is so sad at the same tribunal who gave this particular order to INEC to provide, who mandated them to provide every document required by the, by the parties, are being complacent and, you know, without taking any necessary actions against INEC's decision not to give the Labour Party the required documents that they subpoenaed and everything. You know, it is it is really, really, uh, 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 that's the height of rascality. I must tell you for the fact. Well, I'll keep on updating you guys, especially after the court case uh, today at the election petition tribunal. Well, I would like guys to drop a comment on the section like or subscribe to the channel.